Hello and welcome back to another Aldi family food haul. If you're new around here, we are a family of four and I make food hauls every now and then. I'm not like religious with food hauls, but I'd probably try and do one about once a month. Um, just a quick disclaimer, if you can hear any snuffling or snorting, it's not me. The dog's sitting on my lap because so I've washed her dog bed this morning and then it started raining. So she's got nowhere to sit until we go through to the living room in a minute. My children are napping and I thought I would just film this intro. I went to Aldi this morning and um, done a big food haul for the week. So I thought I would show you what I got because you guys love a food haul. So yeah, if you're not already and you like content all about mum life, please consider becoming a subscriber of mine, like the video, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. And I think that's everything I need to say in the intro. So with all that said, let's jump straight into everything that I bought for the week. I'm going to do a little rough meal plan. I'm not the greatest at meal planning, but I'll, I'll tell you the kind of meals that we're going to have at the end of the video as well. I will also be including food prices on the screen when I show you everything. So let's go. <laughs> just got back from Aldi with Elliot. Everyone's at home, so I'm going to attempt to do the food for you in a minute. <laughs> Unpack everything and then send the children to away with their dad with some snacks. Right, so we are starting over here and I've laid the haul out a little bit differently today. I'm going to be doing it kind of like in sections. So I'm calling this like the breakfast and morning snacks section. Um, you'll understand what I mean in a minute. So obviously we've got a box of Weetabix. These are the Harvest Morn, so Aldi's branded Weetabix. We find these absolutely fine. I know that some people don't like unbranded cereal, but these are fine for us. We eat them no problem. So I've got them. And then for Elliot, I have got him, well, and Jasper probably have it as well, let's be fair. Um, but basically I've bought these breakfast bars for the mornings that Elliot goes to nursery on. Um, I thought that they would be good. They're like, they're not too bad in terms of sugar. So it says per free biscuits, 4.6 and it's orange. So it's not red. It's not like high in sugar. He probably won't even eat free to be honest, probably have like two. And I thought with a bit of banana or a bit of fruit because on the mornings that he goes to nursery, at the minute he's new to nursery if you're not watching my vlogs and he's not the he's also potty training but he's not kind of telling the nursery staff when he needs to go um so some mornings like if he has like a lot of liquid um he'll need the potty more so i thought that something like this dry biscuit bar might be a good thing to get in him so he's got something in his belly um so he's not hungry for nursery and also it's not going to fill him full of liquid like traditional cereal or yogurt sometimes he'll have great yogurt for breakfast but that's quite liquidy and it makes him need a potty so we're going to try these out and i thought they were good um that's what they look like again they're just the harvest morn so like aldi branded breakfast bars so i'm going to give them a try then i got a jar of peanut butter because we're low i'm eating quite a lot of peanut butter myself at the minute because i'm back on the gym and it's great for protein kids do eat it too but they're not like massive fan on fan of it um, I could always put a little bit of this on one of those breakfast bars for Elliot as well so he's got a bit of protein um, so yeah I got a jar of that again it's unbranded got some bananas everyone eats bananas in the house mostly they're just loose ones and a packet of kiwis the boys really like fruit at the minute and they're loving kiwi I really like kiwi and Greek yogurt too so we'll all eat them speaking of Greek yogurt a big kilogram tub of greek style natural yogurt like we this is like we all eat this um so we need the big pot of that so that's also a really good source of protein so i'm eating a lot of that right now too um i got some nord pack softest butter for toast and for sandwiches you name it that kind of thing then obviously in terms of milk we buy quite a lot still because the boys are quite young um for no sorry three lots of um blue milk and one green for me and oliver like we'll have that in tea and cereal but the boys have the blue then for biscuits 
just moved you down a little bit so you can see the biscuits a little bit better so i got two packs of malted milk really handy dry biscuits to have for the kids just for a snack and then the kids absolutely love these we got them from sainsbury's and um these were in the special buys aisle of aldi today the pink panther wafers i actually don't know what they're like in terms of sugar um but anyway the kids love them because they're pink and they are actually quite tasty so we've got a packet of them for the boys i'll have to have a look at the sugar content and whatnot but they only have a couple then i also got two packets of ginger nut biscuits and um, the biscuits are mostly like for my husband and the boys will have the odd biscuit as well here and there um so that's them and then for the chocolate chip cookies are for me which if you've watched my aldi hauls before you'll already know this i bloody love aldi chocolate chip cookies they are they literally have as many chocolate chips on them as that on the packet i'm not lying like you get a maryland cookies and they are nowhere near packed as as packed as chocolate chips as these i'm like a broken record with these but if you know you know i love these so they're mine well obviously all of, all of them will eat them as well but they are mostly mine so that's all of the um like breakfast bits and morning snacks um over here over here i've got everything like for like lunches mostly and that kind of thing british mild cheddar cheese mostly for the kids let's face it they love cheese then they also have been really enjoying these cheese triangles basically like aldi version of dairy lee but a fraction of the price um i will be leaving prices on the screen which you will have already seen by now so yeah there's that then i got some spring onions got these it's not for lunch actually but i thought i'd just put them here these warburton's soft pita because we're going to have like a greek chicken meal one night so yeah these aren't for lunch but i didn't know where else to put them two lots of white medium bread used to buy brown bread but we've just gone back to white because it's everyone eats it and it's easier just to get what everyone eats it's crisps for the kids not a lot i can say about them and um, some cheese and onion cheese and onion snack right crisps for oliver i hate cheese and onion i'm always 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 salt and vinegar over cheese and onion let me know in the comments what flavor crisps do you go for i cannot stand cheese and onion um so salt and vinegar for me to just have occasionally then i got some salt and vinegar rice cakes for the kids just a really easy like snack or they can have it with lunch for them then I got a massive, like you can't even tell how big this is on camera, but it's a large cucumber, it's enormous. <laughs> I'm holding it like that, it looks really funny, sorry. Uh, large cucumber, kids like that for lunch, and then I'll have that with the Greek chicken, I'll make some tzatziki dip with that. Dip, I said dip. <laughs> I'm in a funny mood today. Um, and then I've got some mint to make that tzatziki dip with. This is probably really bad value to buy like a bag of just i only need a little bit but at this time of year it's not growing in my garden i do have it in the summer but you can't have tzatziki without a little bit of mint um so i've got some of that um avocado probably either for lunch or like if i do a salad with that greek meal the children both really like avocado so expensive though like just for what it is like i find avocado so dear i think it's because it um like the carbon footprint on it is obviously not very good it's had to come from like yeah it's come from chili so yeah, not the greatest but avocado for you then a bag of red onions not for lunch but that will be for that greek dinner that i've been banging on about for the last five minutes um, and they'll they will onions last so long that like i put them put them under the cupboard um they're out they don't go funny so they'll last ages over here i've got all of the meat and fish frozen bits that kind of thing got two packets of the black pepper mackerel um this you can freeze so basically i don't know if we'll end up freezing it there's three in each packet and the kids really like it so um what i tend to do is like i will just kind of shred it so it's like shredded because they can be bony but i actually find 
Aldi's mackerel really good like for bones it's not too bad like compared to the Tesco one that I used to get so bony um but I will I won't put this on the kids plate like this obviously because it does contain bones so I shred it and I sort of like feel it with my fingers just to check that there's no bones in it and they'll have like really minute little bits of it but they love that especially Elliot really likes fish at the minute so it's such a good thing for them to eat as well then I've got a reduced fat mince packet i'm going to do spaghetti bolognese um if it looks like i've got no vegetables for the week it's because i've got like a fridge full from last week um they just last really well in the fridge all the veggies and then i got a cheese and tomato pizza that is the value one because i didn't really want to spend some of their pizzas are like three pound odd and i didn't want to spend any more than we already had so that's fine it will do the trick it's just a pizza at the end of the day then i got a packet of ham elliot has been asking for ham all week i didn't buy it last week they were having tuna for lunch this week instead so i had to get him some ham for sandwiches and then i got a pack of eight lincolnshire sausages these are really good i stick them in the air fryer now if you haven't tried air fryer sausages where have you been living it's amazing like sausages used to take me so long in the oven to cook and i'm not kidding you i can put them in the air fryer and they're done in like 23 minutes it's so good like sausages used to take easily double that in my oven i love the air fryer i'm still really enjoying my air fryer bag of the frozen chicken breast fillets really good value they're so tender i really rate these i've spoken about them loads before um so it's a massive bag of chicken breast fillets and they're so big like you can't probably tell but the, the actual fillets are really big and i've just the quality is really really good always used to think that like frozen chicken wouldn't be any good but um yeah really rate that i think it's really good value for money okay so that's all of the meat and fish and did i say about the chips i'm not sure um steak cut chips we've been i've been loving the steak cut chips at the minute so i got a bag of them it's just easier to do ready-made chips at the minute when my kids are older i will go back to making them myself i got nappies um elliot's potty training so he only uses about two nappies a day he'll have a nappy on his for his nap which is he's starting to go back to dry naps again which is really good so then he can use that same nappy for bed so one to two nappies for elliot and then the rest are for jasper my 18 month old and then we need a toilet roll as i say which always bumps the shopping up doesn't it um they're 6.99 now i believe the toilet rolls so they've already, they've gone up when i started putting prices i think they're about six pound 20 possibly i have to look back and they're 6.99 now but they're still cheaper than branded toilet rolls which i always used to get but you know the cost of everything's too much now so we've gone to just like unbranded toilet roll and i do find that they're fine actually they are the premium ones and they feel a bit thicker than like the really cheap ones but they are fine then the last few little bits here just some odds and sods um i've got some spaghetti this is the essentials one i was going to get the whole wheat one but the kids don't really eat it and it was like three times the price and i thought this will be fine because they'll probably just throw most of it on the floor they're not great with pasta actually um, whereas rice they love so i got a bag of basmati rice that's the kilogram one um mayonnaise we just go through mayo like crazy in this house we all really like mayonnaise um used to buy branded if you've been watching my hauls but now this is fine the bramwell's one um i got four tins of tuna in brine again that'd be quite good for sandwiches or whatnot and it's always really good to have in your cupboard if you've like run out of dinners you can do like a tuna pasta bake with something like that then we needed um salt and pepper both had run really low so i got the pink himalayan rock salt and then just some black pepper and that is everything i'll put the total on the screen which i spent now for you and then i'm going to do a meal plan in a sec okay that is everything i believe i spent 70 pounds and 20 something pence i think it was 27p or something like that so 70 pound which i actually took 80 pound cash out with me because i thought it was going to be about 80 pounds so i was 10 pound on a budget which is really good and i did have to buy it like toilet rolls which always bump your shopping up so i was pretty pleased with that so yeah 70 pounds this week okay no particular order because i'm not very good at meal planning like i don't always look at the 
dates of foods um, i need to be better at that so we're going to have with the sausages we're going to do like a sausage all day breakfasty kind of meal because the boys really like that and it's really easy that probably will be on a white can't speak that will probably be on one of my work nights i work two days a week so i need something easy for when i get home from work to cook so i'll bung the sausages in the air fryer i've got a tin of baked beans in the cupboard from like a previous week um i've probably got peas in my freezer for a little bit of veg um i could make hash browns if i'm feeling really into it but i got those chips as well so i probably put a few chips on in the oven or something as well i really do want to look at getting an air fryer with like two shelves because i use the air fryer so so much now and i need one with two shelves really but i don't know if it's going to be cost effective because i know that they're cheaper to run i'm going off on one you don't want to hear about air fryers sorry um so another meal that we're going to have is spaghetti bolognese standard me and my husband will eat that the kids probably won't they're terrible with pasta at the minute don't know why i thought all kids love spaghetti bolognese and pasta but they're not very good with it um pizza i could do um a little bit of rice because the kids love rice i know pizza and rice sounds really weird but if you haven't tried it it's quite good actually um hot or cold rice i like with pizza actually um and then we're gonna have mackerel again we'll probably have rice because the kids are eating it we're having it quite a lot at the minute mackerel rice and veg from my fridge from last week i don't know what i've got i think i've got some cabbage um and then we're gonna have that greek chicken and i have forgotten to buy fish because i was going to make a fish pie i didn't check my shopping list um so i'm actually missing a dinner which is a bit annoying so i might have to do some extra chicken so um a greek chicken with the frozen chicken and then maybe i might have to do like chicken and bacon one night because i haven't bought any fresh fish because i was gonna buy i was gonna make a fish pie uh, make your meal plan before you write your shopping list um damn i'm sure there'll be something in my freezer that i can eat i've always got meals in the freezer so i might have to get a freezer meal out because i've not been very good at looking at my meal plan so yeah you can tell that i'm not very good at meal planning and you saw all of the like breakfasts and lunches as i laid them out like that um so yeah that is everything for you and as i say if you like this kind of content and you're not already please hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up it just helps out a little bit with my channel and um, i post cleaning content mum life vlogs all that kind of stuff and food hauls obviously so i would love to have you and with all that said i'm gonna sign off the video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye